You're now watching The Wash Daily. Today in news, Mississippi and South Dakota public servants who are trying to get in the way of legalization are defending their actions, trying to subvert the will of the people who are looking for cannabis by saying they're not against the cannabis, we're against the way in which it was approached by the people looking for cannabis. Mississippi has some strange law about the people from particular districts if they support a bill and how are voting for bills. Some weird number game they play with voting in Mississippi and they recently made the change to the amount of districts which I guess makes it possible to be within the guidelines. Advocates of cannabis in those places say that's a bunch of nonsense. These people are trying to get rid of cannabis for some reason. And it's not the job of government to do that. The government's supposed to be of the people, not against the people. You have a government that's against the people, it's no longer the government. It's a usurpation. Also in news, the major funder of a Montana cannabis initiative may be prosecuted for campaign finance violation. The story being reported on is that North Fund is an organization that has put up a lot of money for the legalization effort of cannabis in Montana. And what they're saying is they didn't disclose who the contributors of $4 million for the purpose of legalizing cannabis in that state, promoting the idea of legalizing cannabis. But the issue is North Fund is being accused of being set up for the sole purpose of influencing elections. Also in news, rapper advocate Killer Mike got the stage to tell Joe Biden he needs to be for cannabis because it's going to screw up the in-state cannabis markets that they're taxing and they're going to need those businesses to be open. Well, Killer Mike says folks who have been disproportionately put in prison for the past hundred years for cannabis prohibition, they need to have a stake in this newly emerging cannabis market. Biden wants cannabis to be put into a class two from a class one substance similar to cocaine. What they're telling Biden is, Biden, you better watch out because we need that cannabis money for the legal market. So you just need to relax and we just need to schedule it all together. Now Biden says he's a man of the people and he's gonna do the right thing. And a lot of folks think that this is the right thing. If we're gonna implement cannabis, we have people still in prison serving life sentences for cannabis possession. And if all these states are gonna be using it as a way to meet their budget demands, then everyone needs to be out of prison. And those communities who have been hurt by this for so long, they need to receive some benefit from this new exciting cannabis market. Thanks for watching The Wash Daily.